Ripon Mia's daughter had wanted some chips. The taxi driver didn't have the money. He had barely been able to work last year because of frequent political shutdowns and blockades. Desperate to please his little girl, Ripon Mia decided to risk defying the blockade and took his vehicle out to earn some cash. An hour later, someone threw a patrol bomb at him. That was more than two months ago. Today, he is still in the burn unit at Dhaka Medical College Hospital and still in agonizing pain. What this patient is going through right now, it's something no one can understand unless they go through it themselves. I wouldn't want my enemies to go through this. It's been a harrowing few weeks for Ripon Mia's wife. She's not sure what the future holds. Her husband was a family's sole income earner. Right now, we're having to ask our neighbors and family for money just to get by. My family needs help. I'm really suffering right now. I've lost everything. I'm getting treated here, but we're poor people. We're having financial problems. 24 victims of political violence have died in this ward. The most recent casualty, a police officer, yet another victim of a patrol bomb. Kamrul Islam is about to have surgery in a few days. He hopes he'll be able to leave in a month. The unit has already released 68 patients, and Kamrul is excited about heading home. But he and the others here know that getting out doesn't mean their troubles will go away. Gita Sen doesn't remember the fire. She blacked out when the bus she was on was set ablaze. But she cannot pretend it never happened. I didn't want this kind of life. I'm an ordinary person. I didn't want to do anything out of the ordinary. These wounds, I will have to bear them for the rest of my life. They're not going to disappear. Across Bangladesh, thousands of people have had their lives turned upside down by the country's violent politics. The burn units might be the most heartbreaking testimony to this reality. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.